Hey, what's up everyone? Svalbard here. So for this Fallout 4 modding tutorial, we're going to be making a simple um, armor mod and placing it into the game and to the world space and also adding it to the, the inventory of an NPC to a, a vendor. So um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to modify some glasses and make them pretty OP. So in the items armor section, I'm just filtering for glass and then there are some um, police glasses here that I'm going to duplicate the form of and then edit this form. Uh, we're going to call this um, uh, sharp shear some glasses. And then um, just name it like that. Give them some high value so they're pretty expensive. Um, maybe 400 or so because these are going to be pretty OP glasses. Actually, it's probably a little too much, 250. Um, so we're going to add an enchantment, a custom enchantment here later, and I'll show that. We're pretty much going to leave everything default, because these will just be the patrolman sunglasses that we're just modifying. Hit OK. Um, do you want to create a new form? No, we do not, because we already made one by duplicating the police classes like here. All right, so let's go add an enchantment now. In the magic section here, uh, let's see. Magic enchantment. Oh, we're still filtering. That's why. We want to find a um, fortification enchantments. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, so let's maybe add. Um, Make these glasses like that give you charisma and, and perception instead of uh, intelligence perception or perception by default. So I copied that form here. I'm gonna edit it how we uh, did something before, and we'll just call this one like clothing sharp shear glasses. Fortify the charisma. Yes. We also want to add a new enchantment here. Um, Here's that fortify I was talking about earlier. Maybe the add a little fortify the perception of the wearer, like regular glasses do. Give that a one, okay. We also want to make this give a lot more charisma, so maybe two charisma, like so. Um, we could also add some more enchantments as well to it, but um, I think that's good for now. Because again, this is just kind of a demo to show you how you can get um, stuff into the game and add it to inventory of an NPC. So now we got our custom enchantment made. Mm -mm -mm, create new form. Nope, because we duplicated it like before. So there's a new enchantment that we're going to add to the glasses. So back up to the armor. Uh, sharp shooter. Sunglasses here. Edit. Change that enchantment to the enchantment we just made. Okay. Everything's good. I guess we can go ahead and save too. If you would like to. Sharp shooter. Like so. All right, so now we got our armor piece made. We can add it to the console, or add it to the inventory via the console in the game if we wanted to. But I think it would be pretty cool if we had it in the world space. So for the demo of this, I'm just going to go to Diamond City. Um, this takes a little while to load. Was it already loaded? should be um there we go it's loading so now see in this little bottom left hand corner i was confused because it should be loading something and then i clicked on the setting over there to see if i can get it to uh trigger the load and i guess i did that okay so it seems like we're in a city but we're like outside of it off in no man's land um the easiest way to like center back in is if you know something that's in the city to go back to it Should be a vendor somewhere. We're like outside of it. Okay, so we're actually we're in my most recent. I didn't actually have the city there. That's kind of embarrassing. All right, so now we're in Diamond City, as you can see by the huge number of markers and other stuff here. So items are stored in uh, containers called vendors, as you can see here, and they're kind of like little objects that are tied to the NPC 
and that stores the, the items that are sold by the NPC. So here I am in kind of the center of the town by the um, noodle seller dude. And I think I'll have maybe this chem guy sell um, the sunglasses. So you can see him here, he's just some markers and stuff. We got some other options turned on, so you don't really see the actual NPC, but he's there. And uh, this particular guy is... I'll have to find his own box. How about the seller here? Because the vendor has his own chest, so we'll just do that. It's a little bit easier. Okay, so this is the chem care, or mega surgery. It's a chemical care and major surgery. I just did this. All right, well, we'll go ahead and do a mega surgery. I'm pretty sure it's this guy over here that uh, can sell, can take your ads off from whatever like that. Okay, so um, first of all, let's show how to add a item to the world space. It's pretty simple, right? So here we got our sharpshooter glasses. We're just gonna drag them right over here, just put them on the desk, and that's it. And that's pretty much how you put items in the world space. It's pretty simple. Now to add it to a container. Uh, this guy already has an existing container, so the game hides chests for NPCs underground, just like how Skyrim does it. It's pretty funny. So in this chest here, if we click on it, or if, like I was showing earlier, filtering by vendor, we can go ahead and double click that, or well, edit it. And then we want to edit the base of this. This is where the items are. And then you'll see a little container screen here. And we're going to go ahead and add a new item to the list here. And then to select the item, you have to go to this object here, type sharpshooter, there's our sunglasses. And yeah, that's it. You can also make a leveled list um, containers, which are a little bit more dynamic and stuff like that. That's why they're green and have this LL prefix in front of them for leveled list. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start up the game. We'll save and start up the game. And then, yeah, so I'll, I'll cut to that because I have to start up traps for that. All right, so in the game here, we need to add the mod to the mod list so that it'll work. So we go here into the little mod section, press T to go to your load order, um, and then enable it. Go back to the main menu screen, the game will reload usually. I think pretty much, if not all the time. It has crashed on me before, like a couple weeks ago, but again, that was probably still because of beta things. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. It looks like I saved right outside. Continue. So if you saw the error message pop up, that's because um, when I was testing before this video, I named it Sharpshooter Sunglasses. I guess for this video, I just named it Sharpshooter by accident. So, oh well. And, again. and as we see here with the sunglasses are on the table here. Go ahead and take them. Check them out real quick. Of looking weapons, barrel. So you can see here, two charisma, one perception. You got your own custom glasses. And then for Doctor Sun, radiation poisoning is a common ailment. He should have the glasses in his inventory. And apparel, so yep, and they're added there. And go ahead and buy it from him. Yep, oh, yep, and that's pretty much it. On this day in 19 so, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial, and, uh, see you later.